This is a wild death. Voting is by a show of hands. I'm gonna become an Australian tomorrow. In Australia, can you encourage me? Oh, okay, okay. So, never mind. Today I realized that I'm sick of being a citizen of the country I currently live in, and Pete decided that he was sick of being not a citizen of any country. So we're gonna be taking every single practice citizenship test that I could find on the internet. Not every country has a citizenship test, and then the ones that do, not all of them are in English. So sorry, Azerbaijan, we will not be becoming a citizen of you today. And also look, look, diversity. We have another white person. I'll put a little title. Or Cora, do you wanna introduce yourself? I'm Cora. I really am the diversity hire. <laughs> So the first one is UK citizenship test, practice material, copyright 2012, pre-Brexit. So maybe this is gonna be completely outdated. Before we start the UK one, how is everyone feeling about their UK knowledge? Cora, I know you're part Scottish, right? <laughs> is still part of the UK as of recording. I am. Of all of them, this is potentially the one that I will maybe do the best on. I think we can do this. It's all three of us because with our combined minds, we'll do the fuse thing. I never watched Steven Universe. They fuse in that? It's like Voltron? They Voltron? It's like Dragon Ball. I don't forget what they do, but it's like, whop you. Well, Pete, you've been to the UK, right? I've been to London town. England is my city. <laughs> Actually, in 2012, so oh, it's wow. perfect. Yeah, if you just remember every single thing that you did. Where did Pete Peterson go? <laughs> October 2012. Fuck, I know this one. I love how unassuming this website is. It's really so blank. How many members are there in the magistrate's court jury? Holy sh what is that? <laughs> Probably processes of elimination say not 50 because oh. the other ones are all similar size. Oh, there's a timer? Oh, <laughs> 15, 15. Uh, I'd right. say 15. What two factors led Britain to be the first country to industrialize on a large scale? Use of steam power, development of machinery, use of nuclear <laughs> power, and developments in robotics? Literally use steam of steam power. power. <laughs> Does that say first? Because it should say worst. <laughs> That's like a British thing, right? Being the first of something, now they're the worst at it, like trains. Can you imagine if they developed nuclear power before trains? They didn't do shit until 1960. Until. They were like, wait guys, we've been so behind this whole time. I disagree with there, because machinery is robots. Yeah. It's such a vague, like how do you, what yeah. do you define as a machine? Like is a lever a machine? <laughs> it's a robot. Oh. oh God, what is Richard Arkwright? Turning iron into gold? Oh, um. <laughs> uh. wait, wait, wait. Like Minecraft? He was the first miner in Britain. A generous spirit and warm heart is Aww. really, really oh, awesome. Awesome. Yeah, the most boring thing is design of the garden bridge. Okay, first of all, why is this guy on the test? Every single British citizen <laughs> need to know this? Maybe he's like a folklore guy. Ah, this is how we turned <laughs> iron into gold. Now I'm thinking efficient and profitable. But that's like so... That's a little sad <laughs> if that's it. Garden I guess bridge. we do have someone in the US that's also known for but, production line. But I don't think Henry Ford would be on the... I yeah, don't he think he'd be on the, the US yeah. citizenship test. Yeah. Yeah. Is a British Crown dependency. Oh, f oh, Guernsey is isn't Guernsey like a little island somewhere else? It's kind of like Alaska and Hawaii. Like when you see a map of the UK, oh, Guernsey is like in the box. True. What? <laughs> 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 wait, 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 wait. Where did Vikings originally come from to raid England? Wait, why is it a check mark? You can check multiple oh. <laughs> from everywhere. When was the free secondary education included in England and Wales by the Education Act? 1844. 1984. It's all four. The most depressing way to answer this question is to be the most recent one, which would be 1984. I feel like it probably is 1944, like to coincide with yeah. like- Post-war, yeah. yeah. But wasn't that also like a thing during the Industrial Revolution, which would be around 1844, mm. right? But Pretty secondary oh, education, yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like. I bet that was the first time they ever had any education like publicized, yeah, but it wasn't yeah, secondary. Yeah. But if we're using the same test logic, both of these are 44s, right? It's yeah. meant to trip you up, <laughs> all right? Trust me, trust me on this. I don't think it's 1844, because that's too early. I think it's 1944. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think it's 130. This is a wild death. <laughs> you need to know this to be a citizen. But they're just saying people like in the UK or people People. I think regardless, one third yeah. is the I number mean, that you like learn yeah. in school. In American like, school. That's true. Welcome to f***ing Britain, that's, bro. That's... Which of the following is England's largest national park? Snowdonia? <laughs> 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 Again, Rotation. crazy thing to like have to know to be a citizen. I, mean, I think we gotta go with the most British sounding one. <laughs> Yorkshire Dales. <laughs> it's definitely not the Lake District, whatever yeah. the f*** that is. If it is the Lake District, fire whoever named it. <laughs> Who has been given the ruling power <laughs> after the English Civil War. Is that what they call the American independence? <laughs> <laughs> the English Civil War is a different thing. I do vaguely remember this. What? Oliver Cromwell sounds familiar to me because I remember watching this CGP Grey video that explained the history of the royal family and I watched <laughs> it when I was like 12. 
And I remember Oliver Cromwell being a real, con he was a real controversial guy back in the day. Go for Oliver Cromwell. He's the only name I recognize yeah. besides Winston yeah. Churchill. I what is that? Oh God, Adam Smith? <laughs> That's not a real name. That's the most generic. These are the most boring, look at these. Oh God. Adam Smith is known for being the default name that you put on your driver's I mean, license. Let's go with economics, because that- That's the most lamest, that's the yeah. lamest. Boring as hell. Who is the spiritual leader of the Church of England? Monarch, right? That was like the whole thing of Henry VIII, right? Oh, he yeah. was like, I want to divorce my wives. We at least got that one. What is volunteering? What? <laughs> Going on a business trip, traveling abroad for study. I volunteered to do this. Let me remind you guys, wasn't one of the questions like, what was that guy's name, Richard Arkwright? And then <laughs> another one is, what is volunteering? Which two you will need to apply to become a permanent resident or citizen? Drink and drive. <laughs> what? what? Be able to drive right side of the road is so funny. <laughs> Have a good understanding of life in the UK. So it's these two, right? It's gotta be those two because they can't make you have a driver's license in order to oh, be a citizen, yeah. right? I can't believe Drink and Drive is one of them. They were like, let's just give them these. <laughs> yeah. And other ones, they were like, make it impossible. Which of the following is not investigated under civil law? Employment law, drinking in public. Employment law, because it's it's completely different law. It has the word law in it, you're right. Isn't it a thing where drinking in public is legal in England? Or is that only certain places of England? That's only in Manchester. Cora, you're gonna be carrying Wait, us guys, what if I'm the reason we don't get citizenship in the UK. <laughs> This is actually real. Charles I was as skillful as Elizabeth in managing the relationship with Parliament. What, what the f*** is this? What? That's like, f*** you. Clearly like an opinionated statement, yeah. right? What does that even mean? Yeah, what? Which Elizabeth? I'm gonna just say false. Yeah, f*** yeah. Charles. Nah, I bet Charles sucked. Thank you, Charles. Charles. Yeah. All my homies hate Charles. This post has been made by the Richard Arkwright Foundation. <laughs> what percentage of UK population has a parent or grandparent born outside? Like, <laughs> outside the country. Like, like, like outside? One hundred percent. So they mean outside of the country. Ten percent? Yeah, it's gotta be like ten percent, yeah. right? What language was spoken by people during the Iron Age? Which people? <laughs> all people everywhere. Uh, that was my question. <laughs> we all spoke Latin. Which? You gotta assume English people. So like Celtic probably. What is Ugar Ugaritic? Anyone know what that is? They just mash their <laughs> keyboard. Sorry to all the Ugarthans out there. Oh. Ugarthans that I just offended out there. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Which king was leading the Scottish at the Battle of Bannockburn in 1314? Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> Oh, it's gotta be Robert the Bruce then. Yeah. <laughs> they, they threw in Bruce Springsteen oh. to like f with people. Robert the Bruce is like the only thing on here that like sounds like definitively yeah. Scottish. And Robert Baratheon is from Game of Thrones. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even notice that. This is gonna be where we find out. Bruce Springsteen is actually <laughs> Bruce Springsteen the second. And he, this is his like great ancestor. Today we will take Thunder Road. Oh, we got 25 minutes left. We're on the last question, guys. Dude, we got, we're citizens for sure after this. What are the two ways local authorities funded? What? Local taxes. Has the word local in it. And central government, central right? Government. Yeah, unless they're be. facilitating trade between like <laughs> Stevenage and Hull. Are we ready to submit? Oh my, oh god. my gosh. You guys oh happy gosh. with this? I think, I think, I think let's do it. Let's see. Are we, oh. <laughs> so many. We got the first one wrong. Oh, 14. Oh, we got, we got a oh. bunch of these right in a row here. Why is he on the test? Can you imagine being on a citizenship test? You're being that influential, but you didn't even do anything. Oh it was the Lake District. Oh, what? No. The next one is the Australian Citizenship Practice Test, Australian Government Department of Home Affairs. So this is definitely official. This is way better of a website. Yeah. Pete's also been to Australia, by the way. I have. I love Australia so much. I listen to so many Australian podcasts. So you're gonna be carrying us for this one. If all of them are about specifically like Melbourne comedians. <laughs> to pass the test, you must answer the following 20 multiple choice questions. Answer all five of the Australian values correctly. Australian value. Okay, so you don't have to do this okay. one 100%. Okay, sweet. 75%, but then we gotta go all of the five values yeah. right now. what do we commemorate on anzac day the first one is a n z a c holy shit. anzac no way that seems so australian too how did you notice that holy shit. i'm an observer i look for patterns you also got that instantly but we have to do it now that you said that what if it's just a coincidence yeah. they're like we gotcha what are the colors of the australian aboriginal flag the australian rugby team wears <gasps> the aboriginal flag's color oh what color are they i think black red and yellow is new zealand uh oh Sorry, New Zealand. Black, red, and yellow is just the Australian flag, right? No, 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 the Australian flag is the UK flag in the corner. Then it's like some stars. Uh, black, red, and yellow, I'm yeah. good with that. Ooh, what is the Commonwealth coat of arms? The national anthem, why would they make that a coat of arms? It's like sheet music. <laughs> Australian national flower, the official symbol of Australia. What is the official symbol of Australia? It's like a kangaroo. It's like a kangaroo burger. It's like a didgeridoo. <laughs> I'm just gonna name everything I know about Australia. <laughs> it's a didgeridoo, a koala, and a kangaroo fighting each other. Yeah. What happened on the 1st of January, 1901? The Australian 
Australian constitution was changed by referendum. Crazy news on <laughs> January 1st in Australia, dude. The separate colonies were united into a federation of states. Anzac was formed. They wouldn't wait till the first to form a military thing. Also, a referendum wouldn't happen on New Year's, right? B is perfect. Oh, Pete, do you know this? What is the capital city of Australia? It's either Brisbane or Perth. Oh, sh it actually might be Canberra. Fuck, I don't know. I have no idea. Dude. <laughs> Coral way in? Brisbane. It could be Brisbane. Perth is the most recognizable to me, but that's probably just because there's a bunch of people there. I think it's Canberra. Do you remember anyone telling you Sorry. when you get, went to Australia? I remember specifically because I was looking up the laws for certain substances. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like milk substance that I like chocolate look importation for. was only legal in the capital, um, which was <laughs> <laughs> Canberra. I feel like the capital of a lot of countries is the one that no one knows about. A lot of non Americas, non Americas, non Americans <laughs> don't know what Washington, D.C. is. You're they right, think I like New think York no, or LA. Yeah. York. Which of these is an example of equality in Australia? Everyone follows the same religion. <laughs> <laughs> Men and women have equal rights. Everyone belongs to the same political party. This one is a lot easier than the yeah, British Australia. one. In fact, become a citizen today. <laughs> yeah. Which of these statements about passports is correct? Australian citizens can apply for an Australian passport. It's gotta be the first one, right? Yeah. Australian citizens, you are not allowed to apply for an Australian passport. <laughs> this guy from Germany, bro, you can have a passport. Now you. Which of these statements about voting is correct? Voting is by a show of hands. <laughs> I'm gonna become an Australian tomorrow. <laughs> they go down to like the Canberra City Hall. All right, who votes for Steve? One, two. Someone four. in the back is like, F Steve, man. <laughs> Somebody's going, they're like, ah. Uh, like, oh, is, that, is that a count? Raise your hand fully. Who votes for Mary? Hey, you voted twice. Yeah. Hey. What were Steve's thoughts on free speech again? <laughs> Which one of these candidates is gonna make it so it's illegal to vote by hands? I vote for that one. <laughs> What is a referendum? Gore, you read this one on drinking water. What is a referendum? I literally did that a second before you did, but I guess f me. A vote to change the government, a vote to change the Australian constitution, a vote to change the prime minister. Change the government? What does that even yeah, mean? What is to a different system? Yeah. Show of hands, should we change the communism? <laughs> Which arm of government has the power to interpret and apply laws? <laughs> this is just like the US. This is awesome. This is the same. Which of these is a role of the governor general? The appointment of state premiers signing all bills passed away by the Australian parliament. They also have a parliament? The appointment of the head of state. The head of state is a, is the prime minister. Yeah. Why would they appoint that? I don't know what that means. Signing of all bills, that sounds right. No, Australia is also broken up into like states. So I would imagine that each state would have a leader mm. and that leader oh, might be the governor, governor. general. So, so the appointment of state premiers. What is a premier? Like a prime minister, but lower, I think. Damn, get premiers, you lower bastard. <laughs> Which of these statements best demonstrates Australian values about freedom of expression? People with different views from one another need to keep going. <laughs> I can't believe this is on their official oh, that's awesome. government website. Only approved topics can be discussed. <laughs> Nobody bring up the topic of not voting with hands, okay? We're, that is set in stone. The UK citizenship test is like what high school teachers would tell you college is like. Yes. And then this is what college is like. Should people in Australia make an effort to learn English? Whoa. Here we go, some more hot takes. What do we think, non-Australians? Yes, English is the national language of Australia. I think the answer is C. The language that they're using makes it sound like, okay, we're not forcing you to learn English, but they, we're encouraging yeah. you yeah. to. It's interesting, if this one is true, that they do have a national language, because I don't think, the US doesn't have one. Do we not have a national language? No, yeah, we don't, Ameri yeah, we don't have a national language. Actually, yeah, we do. It's, um, it's Dovakid. In Australia, can you encourage <laughs> Sometimes if I feel very offended. <laughs> See, that seems like an Australian thing. It's like, hey, no, it is against Australian values and the law. All right, guys, yeah, it's fine. Kind of Should people tolerate one another where they find <laughs> that they disagree? It is against the law to disagree with one another. <laughs> How would voting work if, yeah. if you're like, it's illegal to disagree with people? They're rooting at all the people who think Australia is some like totalitarian government. Like there's people that are like, oh, what? You can disagree with people? I don't want to move here. Which of the following is an example of contributing to the Australian community? I should not make any effort to get to know I like that one. People in Australia should not contribute to the community because Australia is a free country. Damn. Straight. So that one's to catch the Americans. He is like a declaration. I will not know people. Not even like <laughs> contribute. I will not know people. Fuck everybody. Oh, we're done. <gasps> we got a nice. Yo, we're citizens. We've passed the Australian. We only got one wrong. Yo. We killed that. We killed that. Guys, let's Australian. go to Australia. Australian. Australian. Aussie. 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 <laughs>
So, okay, I couldn't find oh, the official government websites, but I found the Toronto Public Library <laughs> website. I've been to Canada, I've been to Toronto. What? Pete's been to every country. Oh, shit. I have been to all the countries that we've... Just, a, just another lucky white guy. Just another little white guy. Hey, Ca around. Canada. They they all talk like this, and they're all like, hey. I was born in Minnesota, so that's close. Okay. My cousins say big and dragon. So, you know, I don't talk to them anymore, of course. <laughs> yeah. Cora, what, what do you know about Canada? You know anything? I really like syrup. My knowledge about Canada is like probably less than the UK, even though, you know, it's like right there. All right, name the prairie provinces. So if I'm imagining Canada, the prairie must be near, it's gotta be near the US border than the north, where the Yukon is. So Manitoba is in each one of these. Saskatchewan is in three of them. And Alberta is in two. So this is how we're gonna do this. Yeah, I think you're right. I think, I think go with B. Oh, let's go. Oh no, it's gonna be really sad when we start getting <laughs> them wrong. Which federal political party is in power? Liberal Party of Canada. The Green Party. I think it's the Liberal Party. Oh! Let's go! The Lieutenant Governor of Ontario. Absolutely. Ontario, bro! Every Canadian citizen needs to know this. James Bartleman. <laughs> Mikhail Jean, is that French? Isn't Ontario like the one with all the French people in it? No, that's Quebec. I like the name James Bartleman. I love Bartleman. Yeah. Yeah. Bartleman. No! Who is Canada's head of state? It's Justin Trudeau. Yeah. It's just, is it still? Oh. Well, it's definitely not <laughs> Prince Philip or King Charles. Well, the yeah, thing is, yeah. cause they're still part of, I guess they're not head of state. Technically they still own Canada. How long are, is a head of state in? I don't office? know. So like, I feel like he's been in our whole lives. Yeah, exactly. All I know is Justin Trudeau. Yeah. <laughs> what? It was the king. Oh yeah, it was King Charles. So the king is the head of state. And the prime minister is the head of parliament, which is like oh. like their legislative branch. Canada, you are let, you let King Charles be your head of state? Change that shit. Name two responsibilities of the provincial government. Communication, education, health and recycling. Education and health seems... Communication though? What would that be? Hey. Hi. Uh, isn't the internet like a public in Canada? It's isn't health also? Yeah. They have universal health. I would say we should do like a phone a friend, but I, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Let's call up Canada Gym. I'm saying C. Let's say C then. Yeah. Because you're, you're few passionate about that. Yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah. Give an example of how you can help in the community. Wear red on Canada today. A lame way to. <laughs> sure. I'm helping. Sure. Wash um, your car. <laughs> nobody wants to look at that ugly ass. Clean your Car, man. <laughs> on Canada Day, all day. Who do Canadians vote for in a federal election? Head of state, definitely no, because we've already established that that's no, Charles. That's... Not the premier. Premier is elected, I think, by the parliament. At least the parliament is who votes for the prime minister. The people elect their representative in parliament, and then parliament votes on the prime minister. Gotcha. Oh, let's fucking go. You have to know the population of Canada. I know it's less than the state of California. How many it's... people are in the state of California? I think 25 million. So it's either 20 million or 3 million. Oh, maybe it's 38 million. <laughs> US is 350. There's a lot of people in California. That's a lot that of shit though. California might be 57 million or something like that. Oh, no, no, that can't be right. <laughs> help, help brain. 25 mil, split the difference. Let's do it, let's do 25. But 36, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what to believe anymore. 25 is like too even of a number. 20 yeah, is too yeah. even of a number. I wish there were zero Canadians, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> Who are the Matisse? I've heard of, I know about this. Oh, okay, okay. So, never mind. <laughs> oh, bro. What? Bro. I'm also pronouncing this wrong, but the Matisse or Matisse, I know this because of Tasting History, hosted by Max Miller. He did an episode about indigenous Canadian people. I'm trying to remember which one it was. I think it's another way to say mixed people. I think it's That D. makes sense. If this comes from the same Latin root as Matisto, so it would be people who are mixed Aboriginal and European. Yeah. Yes. Woo! We're Canadians. Shout out Max Miller, Tasting History. I think he was making soup in that episode, I don't remember. <laughs> which federal political party is His Majesty's loyal opposition? Oh, so if it's the Liberal Party in power, so it's gotta be probably the Conservative Party, right? The opposition in the UK is the opposite political party that's not in power. I don't know why they have it. <laughs> Shout out Jay Foreman, I watched the video about this uh, 12 years ago. Makes sense that they would call it His Majesty's loyal opposition. opposition. We got it, let's go. List of four additional rights Canadian citizens have under a Canadian charger, whatever, whatever. Oh my God, there's so many of these. Wow, holy <sighs> shit. what the Well, f it's not B because the right to drive Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The right to enter and leave Canada and the United States freely. <laughs> not oh, yeah, not yeah, yeah. We would not allow that. Shit. Not it's that a. One either. Hey, we did it, guys. Which level of government is responsible for bylaws? Municipal. You locked in? I'm locked in municipal. What is a bylaw? They always talk about it with like the, oh, the town bylaws in, in America. So it feels more local. I'm getting this from The Simpsons. Uh oh, here oh. we go. Here's our Richard Arkwright <laughs> question. Who is the real? 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 Real. The father of Manitoba? C. 
sick title to have. A mounted policeman and soldier of the queen. They aren't called soldiers, right? Aren't they called knights of the queen? A winner of the Victoria Cross. Is that like their medal of honor, maybe? The prime minister of Canada during World War I. Oh, oh God. I feel like A, right? C and B sound not important enough to be in this test. I feel like a French person wouldn't have been the prime minister during World War I. <laughs> That's a good call. <laughs> everybody knows that the French people are terrible and they're yep. bad at war. I yeah. think we're all feeling A. Because we're f***ing geniuses. Oh. Guys, are we going to be Canadian citizens? I think we are. I don't know what the rules are to win. Unless or we have to. <laughs> to, win, yeah. to win citizenship. <laughs> Name two fundamental freedoms under Canadian law. The no. Magna Carta. What? <laughs> Freedom to conserve water. Damn, I really want to save water right now, but my governor general won't let me uh, conserve water, so I have to dump it in the street. Yeah, did we do it? I'll look it up later. If we got can Canadian citizenship, we'll have to live in mystery. But we might we not live in Canada. That was a fun video, fun time, guys. We learned a lot. I think the British test, I'm kind of sad we took that first because that was the most f <laughs> that one is like yeah, impossible. So I'm not becoming British. 80% of British people cannot pass that test, oh, I guarantee no. you. They haven't updated it since 2012 because no one wants to be British. Yeah, no. <laughs> no one's become British since 2012. <laughs> when the f is Richard Arkwright alive? That was the yeah, last yeah. time they f***ing updated that test. F*** Britain. F*** Richard Arkwright. We did well. So join us next time for our, the sequel to this video where we try to illegally immigrate to all these countries <laughs> and see how that goes. Uh, Patreon.com slash Andrew Trina win. Thank you uh, to my latest Patreon, Brock C. Cooper. Shout out! I think I just exposed his middle initial. Oh, it's whatever. <laughs> He's a public figure. So <laughs> Once you have an IMDb page, it's over. Brock Cooper Cooper? It's Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Brock Craig. Brock um, Craig Cooper? Stand on.